A sixth officer with the Memphis Police Department has been relieved of duty in connection with the brutal death of Tyree Nichols. So uh, Tyree Nichols was pulled over by officers with the Memphis PD on January 7th. Uh, and look, the body cam and uh, surveillance video released on Friday was horrifying. Uh, it showed Nichols being brutally beaten, tased, pepper sprayed, hit with batons, punched, kicked by the officers. Again, horrifying. Nichols died from his injuries on January 10th. The officers, by the way, were uh, four, uh, I should say five other officers uh, were fired shortly thereafter. Now, this has been compared in its brutality to Rodney King, except in this case, of course, Nichols uh, immediately died afterwards. So, and look, the other thing is uh, five of the officers were black. In fact, on Thursday, Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy announced charges against five MPD officers for Nichols' death. Emmett Martin III, Justin Smith, Tadarius Bean, Demetrius Haley, and Desmond Mills were each charged with second-degree murder, aggravated assault, aggravated kidnapping involving the possession of a weapon, aggravated kidnapping resulting in bodily injury, official misconduct through unauthorized exercise of power, official misconduct through failure to act when there is a duty imposed by a law, and official oppression. Each of them, each of these officers, was taken... Uh, was arrested and taken into custody before the charges were publicly announced. So now, uh, on the issue of those five officers being, uh, you know, uh, detained, uh, totally fine. This is what we wanted for police accountability. Yes. That said, we're going to get into some, uh, well, issues, right? So let me just first say, the fact that the, the, these cops were black, this isn't surprising. Why do I say that? Why, why, did, why do I say that this uh, matters? Uh, well, it's because they're all police officers that have been trained the same way as warrior cops. And in fact, look, there's oftentimes a lot of testimonial and, and proof that uh, black officers train to be even more brutal in order to gain the respect of their white peers and white commanding officers. Now, in this case, not exactly a white commanding officer, but still uh, white peers, yes. And in a system that upholds white supremacy. When cops are trained though as warrior cops, uh, remember they see every problem as a nail and that they are the hammer. It's almost if, you know, as if, you know, the real problem all along is the institution of policing and not just the individual officers. The institution itself is, again, designed to uphold white supremacy. As if to make the point, did you hear anything about, uh, or should say about this from the police unions? Are you hearing anything about the uh, thin blue line people? I hear they're uh, suddenly very, very quiet uh, about this. It's almost as if they're not interested in protecting any of the five black officers. And again, by the way, they shouldn't be protected. And I'm not saying they should be. Another weird thing is uh, you actually have right-wingers that are uh, condemning this. Again, I'm not saying that they, they shouldn't condemn this. They should condemn every situation in which this happens where there's obvious police brutality leading to the death of, an, uh, of a person who, again, shouldn't be murdered. I think it's very, very clear here uh, that you don't deserve to be murdered by police officers. But there's a but. <laughs> now, before I get to that, though, it's caused such an outrage. Even Donald Trump has weighed in on this. Oh, that's weird. Now, here's what he said in an interview. Quote, I thought it was terrible. He was in such trouble. He was just being pummeled. Now that should have never happened. He had also condemned the beating as, quote, horrible, while saying it was very sad because of the part of the footage where uh, Nichols had cried out for his mother, which again is absolutely devastating. And here's what he said about that. Quote, that was the part that really got me the most, to be honest with you. Again, 
this is this is all good. I mean, I I like that there's a you know a situation like this where members of the right wing are like as horrified as we all usually are. But again, look at the caveat here. This happened at the hands of five black officers. Have they traditionally responded the same way? Had it been white officers that had perpetrated a beating like this? We all know the answer here. We all know. And look, we may find out if, if this is actually related to the race of the officers involved, uh, because now we have that report, as I mentioned earlier, that there is a sixth person that has been suspended. Earlier on Monday, CNN reported that a sixth Memphis, Memphis PV officer, Officer Preston Hemphill, had been relieved of duty related to his role in Nichols' arrest. I want to show you a little bit of that report. Take a look. We know Preston Hemphill, as he's been identified, has been on the Memphis Police Department since 2018. And according to a source uh, with knowledge of Hemphill's involvement, we know that he was part of this so-called Scorpion unit. Uh, also, according to his attorney, Victor and Allison, we are told that Hemphill is the officer whose body camera we see in video one. Remember those four videos that were released on Friday showing the incident that led to Tyree Nichols' death? Uh, well, Officer Hemphill, we want to show you in this video and warn you that it is graphic. We want to show you that Officer Hemphill deploys his taser in this video, and we can hear him and see him deploying that taser. Uh, we also see him say one of them prongs hit the bastard. All right, I'm not going to show you the video because, look, if, if you haven't seen the videos already, they're everywhere. <laughs> they're pretty much everywhere. So I don't really think I need to replay what is essentially a modern-day lynching, this time by black people, um, to another black person, a black police officer specifically. But Officer Hemphill, however, he, they did show you... Uh, the video of him deploying his taser. And then there's uh, another video uh, showing him saying some things that are, well, uh, listen for yourself. I hope they stomp his ass. I hope they stomp his ass. Smith is calling for other cars because him and Martin are chasing him. I hope they stomp his ass. You heard it right there. That's exactly uh, what this officer Officer Hemphill, the white officer, who had also already had tased him, Tyree Nichols, um, had said. Hmm. So, look, um, are there charges for, Mr. for Officer Hemphill? No, he has not been charged yet. Interesting. So, now we have the difference here. We had these five officers immediately, before they even made an announcement, taken into custody. Charged. Officer Hemphill, suspended for being involved. Oh, well, his lawyer says, well, he was only involved in the first video, which wasn't as bad, but still pretty bad. Uh, he, was in, he wasn't involved in the second video that we could see. Oh, oh, is that, is that what's going on? Okay, right. No, here's the thing, okay? My guess is... For Officer Hemphill, there's not going to be charges. And if there are, it's going to take a while and it's going to take some outrage for it to happen. That's my guess. And as we saw before, the other black officers, the five black officers, were immediately arrested in charge. Uh, and I have no problem, by the way, with that. I, I think there should be an equal application of justice for all those who were involved in his death. I don't think we're getting that. Notice the difference here in the reaction. Immediate justice when it comes to black cops. Again, good, it shouldn't matter the color of the officer. You should have immediately, immediate justice regardless. I just want the same standard applied to all police officers. That's it. It's not about the color of the officer. It's about the institution of policing itself. That's been the entire problem all along. Nobody seems to realize that. The institution of policing itself is broken. 
or I should say it's working as intended. And that says something completely different, doesn't it? Which uh, means that you would also need different uh, solutions to it. But what I'm saying right now is policing as it is, not working. It's not working for the black community. It's not working really anywhere. It's not preventing crime. It's barely solving it. But look at the uh, backlog of rape, case, uh, rape kits that haven't been solved yet. And then look at what they're doing with their time. Crushing protests. Obviously, the institution of policing is not working overall. There ha does have to be some sort of change, it, not just on the outside. I mean, hiring diverse cops, it's basically, it's not a solution. All you're doing is hiring a different color boot. That's it. Now, the whole idea and structure of policing, the system of policing, and what it means to be a police officer, that's the change that, that needs to be, uh, you know, implemented.